In this video, I'd like to show you how to do PowerPoint animation in PowerPoint 2013. It has changed a little bit since PowerPoint 2010. I do have videos about how to do animation in PowerPoint 2007 and 2010 if you search my channel. But this one uh, will work in 2013. Now, uh, let's say here's a, uh, a farm, and I'm going to have the classic uh, cow jumping over the moon, you know, from that, that child's uh, poem. So in this case, let's go get a cow. So I'm going to click, pick on insert. And now, instead of being called clip art like it always was, now it's called online pictures. So now they have it directly connected to the internet where you can get a lot of pictures. So I'll pick, I'll type in cow. And let's see what we can find. You know, we have a lot of cows here. And let's see if, uh, if I found one that I like. All right, here's one that's fine. And I'll pick on insert. Now the cow's in the picture. And I'm going to move it down here. Let me resize that a little bit. Okay, good. Now, I want the cow to actually walk into the slide. And then I want the cow to walk across the slide. Then I want the cow to jump over the moon. And then I want the cow to walk out of the slide. So all of that's going to be accomplished with animation. So you pick on the picture first. Now you pick on the animations menu. And you really want to turn on the animation pane because it's going to help a lot. Uh, I'll show you why. So I really like to have the animation pane over here, as you can see. Now uh, we're going to add an animation. Uh, now there's four categories of animation. There's entrance, which means how is it going to come into the slide. There's emphasis, which means once it's on the slide, we can emphasize it. Uh, with the, Maybe we can spin it or pulse it or things like that. Uh, there's exit, that means how it can leave the slide. And then motion path means how is it going to move around the slide. Now, there's these major categories, but I want you to see that there's more entrance effects and more emphasis and more exit and more motion path effects as well. First of all, we want this to come into the slide. So we're going to say fly in. Now you can see how it came in from the bottom, right? And that's not really appropriate. I want that to come from the uh, from the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on uh, double click on the animation over here in the animation pane. So we're going to say make it come from the right. Now also I want to make that a little bit slower. So I'll pick on timing, and right now we'll make it let's say um, let's say medium. So let's see what that's going to look like. I'll click on OK. And you can see it slowed down the cow quite a bit. And it came in from the, uh, she came in from the right hand side. Now, I want to play the uh, slide and see what the audience is going to see. So I'll pick on slideshow and we'll say from the beginning. Notice how the cow is not coming in. So until I click my mouse or uh, press a key, there comes the cow. Well, I want that to be more uh, automatic. So here's what you do about that. I'm going to hit the escape key. We're going to click on the cow again. You double click on the animation. That's why I really like the animation pane because it's right there for you. And then to make it automatic, you go into timing and you say after previous or even with previous. If, it, if you want that to happen at the same time as something else. But if you want it to happen after something else, you say after previous and let's say after one second. That means once the slide appears, then the cow will come in one second later. I'll click on OK. Let's see how it looks now. So we'll say slideshow from the beginning. And you can see the cow's coming in uh, by itself. I didn't have to click anything to make that happen. So I'm going to hit the escape key. Now the next thing I'd like that to do is I'd like the cow to move across the slide. Well, you're not going to change the animation that you already have because that's one that one is working fine. You're going to add a new animation. So you click on the picture again. We're going to pick on animations. You add another animation. And then in this case, we're going to do what we call a motion path. But I'm going to say more motion path. And that means it's going to move around the slide, and we'll say move it to the left. There's one that's called left here. There's a whole screen full, as you can see. 
So uh, I'll pick on left. And you can see it's moving to the left now. Now that happened kind of quickly. Notice how that made a second entry in the animation pane. The first one is the entrance, and the second one is the motion pass. So I'm going to double click on that. Now, we, I just told you about how to make it automatic. So I want this one to be automatic also. So I'll pick on uh, timing. We'll say after previous, maybe a half second later. Now, I also want to slow that one down. That one seems too fast for me, for a cow, you know. So I'll pick on slow here. And we'll click on OK. Now, let's see how it's going to play from the beginning. So uh, I'm gonna, in this case, I'll pick on slideshow from the beginning. All right, so here comes the cow. And now he's going to go over to the left. I'd like that to go a little bit further, of course, right? So here's what you'll do about that. See, this is where the cow is going to stop, where this red dot is. So you move your mouse to the red dot, and your mouse will be a double arrow, and then you can drag it over as far as you want to go. So I'd like this to stop right about that. Now, the next thing I want the cow to do is actually jump over the moon. So this is going to be another animation. We're going to click on the cow again. We'll say animation and then add animation. Now this is going to be a motion path, except I want a custom path. So I'll pick on custom path here. This might be brand new as of uh, PowerPoint 2013. I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to, I'm going to start here. Now it won't actually start the path until I hold down my, uh, my left mouse button. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and actually make it jump right over the moon. Okay. I have a, like a normal arc here. Now I want it to stop there. When you want that to stop, you hit the escape key uh, for this custom path. Okay. Now notice how there's a third animation in the animation pane. Each slide can have as many as you want it to. So you're building kind of a, like a storyboard here, if you can imagine. So I'm going to double click on that. Now we just saw that we want that to be automatic. So I want to say automatic uh, after previous, let's say after half of a second. So that means after the cow moves to the left, a half second later, it'll, um, it'll uh, jump. And then let's say this one's going to be a little bit fast. A medium should be fine. I'll click on OK. Now, <laughs> and there it goes. Now at the end of that, I want the cow to walk off of the slide. So that's going to be another motion path. Another, um, we can do it, an entrance or an exit here. Let's do an exit. So we'll say, click on the cow. We'll say, add animation. This time we'll do an exit. Now from exit, we'll say, fly out. But of course, we want it to fly to um, fly to the left, right? So we're going to pick on, on the animation. This is the end, uh, the exit now. I'll make it fly to the left. And now we know about the timing. So, you know, I'm going to do after previous again. And we'll say a delay of about a half of a second. And we'll make it go slow. Let's see how the whole thing is going to play. We're going to go ahead and pick on slideshow from the beginning. And here comes the cow. Cow is going to go over to the left. And the cow is going to jump over the moon and now walk off the slide. So imagine that was really four different animations. We had an entrance, we had the motion path that moved it to the left, we had the other motion path which made it jump over the mood, and then we had an, en an exit which made it leave the slide. So, you know, um, you really might have to do several animations to get the effect that you're looking for. Uh, now, let's add some sound onto these as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and double click on this one. Let's say when the cow is walking across, then I'd like to have a cowbell type of uh, sound. Now, before I, I recorded this video, I downloaded a couple sounds from the internet. 
Uh, so you can probably find sounds if you go up to Google and type in free sounds or free cow sounds or whatever you're looking for, you'll probably find something you can download. So from here, I'm going to add a sound. I'll click on that, that pull down there. Now there's some sounds that come with uh, PowerPoint, as you can see. All right, but I'm going to go with other sound, and that, that'll let me point to a file on my computer. And here I have one that I downloaded that's called uh, the cow and the sound and the uh, bell. All right, so that sounds good. Okay. Now, when I want that to jump over the moon, that's going to be maybe uh, just a moo. So I'm going to double click on the one that I know is the cow jumping, which is this one. We'll double click. We'll add a sound to that. And this one I'm going to say other sound. And again, I'm going to point to a file that I downloaded prior to me recording the video, and we'll do a cow moo. <laughs> and that might be the sound that the cow makes if the cow were to jump over the moon. <laughs> so let's go ahead and run the slideshow from the beginning. Here comes the cow. And the cow walks off the slide. I'm going to hit the escape key. So hopefully you can see how to start to animate your picture. So you're going to click on the picture. You go to the animation pane. Now maybe you can see why I like to have the animation pane open because then you can really control this and do them one by one. You can double click on each one of those and do the effects. All right, and then we did double click on them. To make the timing be automatic, uh, you say after previous, after so many seconds, but this is actually the speed of the animation itself. And then under effect, you can even add a sound to those if you wanted to. And that's how you're going to really start to do animation in PowerPoint.